Hello? Testing. Testing, one, two, three. This thing on? All right, just give me a moment here. Gamers, this is the Video Game Maniac, and welcome back to Hotel Dusk Room 215. Chapter 8, the antepenultimate chapter, which, if I recall correctly, means third to last. This is the third to last chapter in the game. This is where the story actually picks up, by the way. Of course, I still think the last chapter in the game is uh, my favorite. Hmm? Phone. I do remember one chapter in this game, I think it was like a chapter or two ago, it didn't start off with me having to answer the phone. Phone's ringing. Most chapters seem to begin this way, actually. Hey, sweetie. I hope Ed's paying you for the graveyard shift. I could not work a graveyard shift, personally. I tried to a couple times. Uh, no, it just completely screws up my, uh... My, uh, my day. I just do this for kicks, hon. But hey, it told me that you're onto something. Did you find a clue about your friend Bradley? I think so. Ed's been talking about you all night. Told me all about why he thinks you won't stop looking for Bradley. He talks too much. I think it explains a lot. I don't need explaining. Right. And I don't need a better job. Okay, just one big puzzle after another, Kyle. But I guess that's what makes you so darn um, charming. Rachel, listen. Do you think... Oops, sorry, handsome. Ed needs you. Hide. What's the good word? I'm shaking trees, but the, air um, but the acorns aren't falling. And this random crossing. I mean, what are the odds of a... Uh... Random piece of furniture dropping from a tree. Or a wasp nest. That too. No direct ties to Bradley yet, but he did find one thing. Yeah? It's a name. I need you to run it for me. Go. See what you can dig up on a gallery may in Santa Monica. And get me this skinny on the owner too. Guy named Robert Evans. Gallery may. Robert Evans. Got it. Thanks. How you doing, Kim Gamer 9377 How's your day been going so far, man? Welcome to the live stream. You got fingers and a lot of pies. That oh, that's not right. I know you can find something. Both names keep popping up in strange places. And at least one person here is hot to find this Evans character. There's something here, Ed. I know it. I'll do what I can on my end. But give me details. What are you fishing for? Um, let me see here. Not good, and you? Oh. Did something happen um, to you? Are you alright, man? What are you fishing for? I met a young girl here. She's wearing the same bracelet that Bradley used to have. The girl's name is Mila. Mila. Hide, are you saying... No. It's not his sister. Mila says the bracelet is from her father, Robert Evans. I think she's looking for the guy. Is this the same guy that owns the gallery? Yeah, same guy. Right. Give me an hour or so. Let me talk to my people. That seems to be the case in this game. <laughs> it's probably something that's going to be talked about in the next chapter. I'll give you a buzz when I track something down. I've been doing pretty good, personally. 
I filed in the license plate information to the DMV for the used car that I got from a towing service. It needs license plates and I gotta pay to own the vehicle or I don't know how it works. In the meantime, I still use my uncle's truck for uh, for doing Postmates. Oh! Oh man. You broke your left arm? Where exactly? The wrist? The uh... The radius? The ulna? Or is it the humerus and... No. The radius and ulna bone, I think. Did you break it around the wrist? The uh arm upper arm god that sucks man i mean i uh i remember breaking my left wrist when i was six it, it's not a good feeling i still remember the pain i remember a couple days before getting the cast i even rolled off of bed and actually fell on that same arm and oh god the pain hurt it, it was like nerves huh sounds like that came from one of the rooms at the end of the hall Did you already go to the hospital for that? I, I wasn't paying attention to this actually. I think it was this room. Knocking's not bringing anyone to the door. Let me see if I recall correctly. Something happened here. Oh, it's just like in the laundry room where I found a gun. Oh, what the heck? There's some brown paper in here. I've got a discarded envelope. It's addressed to Iris. Oh. That sounds serious. It's all the way up to your shoulder. This must be it. Did you... Did you already go to the hospital for that? Did they already tell you, um, diagnosis? Because I imagine with the shoulder, um, the cast there is a little more... restrictive? I mean, it's not like putting a tube over your arm or something. The shoulder requires a little bit more... a little bit more work to it. It's like if you break your hip or something. How do you put a cast over your hip? It's like a body cast, almost. I, I, I would... I would imagine. I got a cassette tape. Wonder who threw this away. I don't even need a. It was all discarded. No, the, t the tape. Don't even need something to um. Uh, what's the word for it? To fix it. Someone tossed away some bits of paper. When was the last time I've even seen um a tape deck like that? I got no use for garbage. Yes, to the, uh, to the hospital? Can you, can you still use your, um, left arm, by the way? Or does it hurt to even move it? I'm going back here for something, by the way. Of course, I don't even know if I can pick it up. Okay, I can. I'm a little ahead of schedule here. I need this. I'll just save. It'll save me the trip of uh, of coming back up here. Oh man. Are you uh Are you right-handed? Most people are right-handed. Few people are ambidextrous. I know that's um. I know that's very uh helpful when you're in sports, like basketball especially. Where do I have to go from here? Got the letter, I got a tape. Hmm. Let me try this way. Thank you. 
I better not barge in. That seems to get me in trouble. What the heck? Aren't I supposed to go in there? Hmm. How long do you think you'll have to wear a cast uh, for, by the way? Do we not have anything here to fix this, or... Well, let me try here. Let me see if I can actually access the item. go from here. You know, I could always just look at a walkthrough. I might as well. I don't look ahead, I just look at what's the next part. Let's see... Okay, so I just talked to Iris back at her room. Because technically I found the envelope. I can't move my left arm. Ah, oh, man. You said you already went to the hospital, right? Um, did they tell you how long it would take to, um, to heal? Because I imagine something like that could take like uh, a couple, maybe a few months. Okay, room 216. Literally right next door. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Hmm. Yes, my left, uh, I'm left and right handed. Oh, nice. You're ambidextrous? Hmm. Alright, so Iris is in her room, so I go back down here and Kevin should be here. Oh yeah, he is. Look at that. Did he sober up? I roasted him in the last chapter. You sobered yet? Oh, it's... It's you. You forget what room you're in? No, no. I was just... just trying to clear my head. I'm going back now. I've never been drunk before in my life. Kevin nods and slowly wanders down the hall. I actually tried to go to my, uh, my nearest BevMo to see if they sold that alcoholic drink that I was, like, interested in. They didn't. Maybe I have to look elsewhere. Fires is back in her room. No. What to do next? Oh, yeah. Bowling with Louis. That was a highlight of this uh of this chapter. He said that after the bar closes or something, we go bowling. Where are they? Outside the hotel, or...? I'm gonna smoke them in bowling. I'll say that much. Where is he, then? Back at the bar?
You know who else I recall had a shoulder injury? Or had his, um, shoulder operated on? Do you ever watch The Price is Right? Do you know the host there nowadays called Drew Carey? I remember a few years ago, maybe four or five, he had a shoulder operation and he was still hosting while wearing a cast or a, an arm sleeve or something. Uh, an arm harness? Whatever they're called. Kyle Hyde. When he's not solving crimes, he's playing Santa to the ladies. Ready to take a licking from this street, punk? I'm gonna roll strikes till dawn. Almost. But first, you have to help me out. I need a cassette player. Nowadays, who still has them? Like, wh who's walking down the street with a Walkman or something? A Sony Walkman. Really? Well, I got a deck. Deck of cards? Skateboard deck? It's in my room. Man, I tell you, that opening is in serious demand tonight. Really? Someone else wanted it? Who else wanted your cassette deck? Dunny, man. Came through a little bit ago wanting to um wanted to borrow the thing. Dunning. Don't ask me, man. Said he wants some music. Probably country, yeah? What you gonna listen to, Hyde? It ain't disco, yeah? Tell me it ain't disco. Well, this is still the 70s, if I recall correctly. Year 78, 79? I don't know. Trip, man. Sounds pretty suspicious. I'll know when I hear it. Tell you what, man. Things just sit in my pad. Go ahead and use it. But don't take it out of there. Thanks. I'll swing by a bit later. Oh, but hey. Don't try to rewind anything. Oh, yeah. And you can't fast forward, neither. Buns are all busted up. Got it. I think I, could, I think I could actually get a game over here if I'm not careful with that tape. Now I also remember the sequel of this game having a similar situation. Only I think that tape deck was portable. Almost broke my leg too. Did you did you fall down the stairs or something? What happened? I mean, I, I imagine an injury like that happens when you fall down some stairs or or something. Or I hope to God you didn't get into a, a car accident or anything. Why am I knocking? I guess the door was unlocked the whole time. I just had to ask for permission. Now, where is that cassette deck? Oh, I think I have one of those in Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. That reminds me. Um, I don't normally like to talk about her nowadays, but... Um... My mom actually broke her left leg, too. I think it was like a year ago. Always got a cassette deck sitting on a wooden crate. Real classy. And the reason I say I don't want to talk about her a lot is because uh, we had a fallout, so... This. This cassette deck seen better days. I think I remember even livestreaming Super Mario uh, Maker 2 and... Including it a little prematurely because of that. I think my aunt um, called saying that my mom had an accident and it kind of threw me off and I decided to call off the livestream early. Something like that. The tape's unwound. This is no good. So, how do I fix it? What else? Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Yeah, I fell down the long stairs. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry that happened to you, man.
I just... Oh, yeah, okay, I just scroll down. Unless this was Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, you don't see the... I don't see a purpose of this thing anymore. I feel like I'm doing this all wrong. Just scroll down, no little circles. Big circles. I'm almost done. Okay. That works. Don't press the rewind or fast forward buttons. Bingo. I rewound the cassette tape. Now I can hear this thing. Imagine trying to make Louie's room in Animal Crossing. I don't know if they make an old-ass bed like that. It probably could do with, like, a... One of those beds that kind of looks like a... Like an ironing table or something. Don't use the rewind or fast-forward button. Just let it play. Do you like horror? I've played a few horror games, actually. I honestly should play some more. Like, I've heard Resident Evil 7 is really scary. I should. I should actually play some more horror games. I'm not a real fan of Silent Hill, personally. If, if anything, I'd probably play some of the Resident Evil games. Maybe start with some of the remakes. Although, I think the next one I will play is Revelations 2. I love the first one. Huh. What's this? A cassette tape? What about the other side of this thing? Really? Looks in great shape, honestly. Looks nice and shiny. Brand new. Did you, um, did you look something YT? I'm sorry, what? Can you run that by me again, please? That you're asking is awesome. Ain't work any faster than I Eddie am. You heard me, this is last one. Ah, I got the painting supplies. But he doesn't get it. I know, but What was I just hearing? Some cranky painter? It's like he's being forced to paint something? Animator. Did you look something animator? Sorry, I, I still don't know what you're talking about. Last one, huh? I wonder what that means. Who's there? Yo, hide! Louie. You get that tape working? What's on it, man? Not sure. Here, take a listen and see what you think. This message will self-destruct in 10 seconds. How do they do that with cassette tapes anyway? Do they line it with gunpowder and when it reaches a certain point of the tape, it just fizzles? I think I remember in a Mythbusters episode they did that. Like, they were like, okay, let's see what happens. And then just ended up uh, smoking inside of the uh, of the tape deck. I play the cassette tape for Louie. Aw, oh, man, not cool, Hyde. That thing is a total freakout. Did you hear how those two cats were talking all quiet and staticky? Sounded like... I don't know. Like someone bugged the room or something, you dig? That's my guess, too. But you got this thing anyway. Trash can in the utility closet. Trip. Who tossed it there? 
The same person who saw an envelope from Iris's room. Who would steal it, though? I don't think Jeff Angel would. I, I imagine his story's done. I don't think Kevin or Melissa did it. Iris clearly didn't. Louis didn't. Rosa probably didn't. Dunning? What about Dunning? Huh. Okay, man, now you totally lost me. You know the last time I talked about Animator? Um... No, I don't actually. Is it a video game? Who stole what- um... <clears throat> who stole what from who now? Fill me in, man. Use small words, yeah? The brightest bulb in the lamp. I'll tell you everything later, Louis. I have to find Iris first. Also, one more thing about Louis. Does he kind of remind you of Dan from Gang Grumps? It, m it must be the hairstyle. Yeah, okay, man. If you say so. Time to make Iris sing like a canary. Wait, oh, yeah, don't I still have that magazine? Do you think she's uh, Cecily Lee? It was like a swimsuit magazine. At least I hope it's a swimsuit magazine. The title, holy shit, the title. Bavoom! I think I actually have it in the briefcase, let me check. Hey, AJC! Welcome! How you doing, dude? I, as you can tell, I'm playing Hotel Dusk Room 215. Vintage visual novel game. <laughs> Made in 2007. Where did I put that magazine? Uh, let me see. Did I even put it away? No, I don't think I put it away. I think I actually still have it on me. Got a porn mag on my, uh, on my jacket somewhere. Let me see here. Ah, here it is. Look at the hairstyle. Iris has the same hairstyle. You think it's her? I'm good, how have you been? Uh, I've been pretty good myself, personally. Although, I don't, I'm not sure Kim Gamer 9377 is. He said that he, um, he fell down some stairs and he broke his, uh, he broke his left shoulder. And he almost broke his hip, too. So, you know. Pray for him. I hope you get better soon, um, Kim Gamer. My time is 22.33. I must go sleep. Sorry. Alright, man. Let's go hide. Yeah, I know, it sucks. Injuries, injuries are never fun. Go away. I'm sure everyone's at least been to the hospital once for an injury of some kind. You gotta talk. Open up. Broken bones are never fun. Don't you have a cape to go home to? <laughs> not until the next, um, not until the sequel. Play nice. I found your stuff. Oh. You really found it? Hope you get better. Yeah, I know, huh? That's not, a, that's not an injury that heals quickly, if I recall correctly. Hand it over, please. Plus, age does play a, a factor in how quickly you heal from something. Like, if you're... I, I said this earlier. My mom once broke her, um, her left leg. Like, the bone right close to the ankle. Her femur, her humerus. I forget the names of those two bones. Um... She fractured them both, she fell down some stairs. Oh, and the irony here. She went to Disneyland in Los Angeles with um with my little sister. That's how she got the accident. The happiest place on earth. I can only imagine the set of stairs that she um that she broke her leg on. It, it might be the one that leads to downtown Disney after you take the uh the monorail. That one's the most likely one that I can think of. Yeah, bye. Have a nice day and be safe. Just take it easy, man. In a second. I got some questions first. 
Why did you have the tape? What's a dame like you doing with something like this? I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. This is from a bugged room, and the guys on the other end mean business. What? You listened to it? Yeah. I was curious about what got taken from you. I figured it was something interesting. Thanks, AJC. And Maniac. Yeah, don't mention it, man. Just, you know, like, like we said, like I said, take it easy. Um, well, I don't know honestly how to treat a sh uh, how to recover from a shoulder injury, but just, you know, just don't push yourself, man. But I never imagined there would be something like this. Alright, see ya. Oh, I thought I was gonna interrogate her or something. I can't believe you found my tape. Should I give it back to her? Is this what was in your mystery envelope? Where did you find it? Trash can in the utility closet. Really? What if I showed her the magazine? Is this your envelope? Where did you find it? Oh, same thing. Yeah, stay safe. Really? Are you implying something, Mr. Hyde? <laughs> Nothing. Shut some, um, shut some light on this for me. Fine, come in. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> what do you want to know? Give me the skinny on the tape. The tape is none of your concern. Yeah, that's true. It is Friday. Friday and Saturday and Sunday? Those are good Postmates days, personally. I thought about doing it on a Tuesday, but uh, I thought against it. Just give it back. You want the tape? I want answers. Plus, I hear California is starting to um enter phase two of reopening the, the state or something. I also heard in the news that there were some people who decided to move to like Texas or something because, you know, they didn't like the whole shelter in place thing. I mean, yeah, I can't understand some people getting cabin fever, but still, you don't want to end up killing someone with, um, by transferring COVID-19 to them. You never know. Better to play it safe than sorry. And some people are choosing to play it sorry. Who are the voices on the tape? I have no idea. No idea? You really do think I'm an idiot, don't you? Where does a princess like you get something like this? I told you. Grace sent it to me. She asked me to bring it here. That's all. Hold it. Why bring it here? Why'd you bring it here? Because I was told to. Who is Grace anyway? Grace gave you the tape. What was the plan? She told me to wait for her to contact me again. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to bring the tape to this old oh, red question. This soon, huh? You and Grace were close? That's right. So you must know all about her, right? About her family? That why you were boozing it up with her husband, Kevin Woodward? Her... Her husband? Ah, boy, connecting the dots here. You didn't know? Yes, I didn't know. Are you sure? That man is Grace's husband? And that little girl. The girl in the restaurant is... God, it's creepy how connected everyone is in this game, huh? Yeah, that's her kid. Oh. Now I understand why she had that doll with her. When did you last see Grace? Where is she now? Talk, damn it! Where is Grace? Where is she gone? You stupid, insensitive fool! I don't know, alright? I don't know! Boy, we scream a lot, don't we? 
And you are the one who should be telling me what's going on. Wait, I don't... I'm the one who knows her, you idiot. I'm the one who's searching for her. I have to find her. There's something I have to ask her. If I recall correctly, Grace gave Kevin... Like a... Let me see. Kevin got... From, from the last chapter... Kevin got a malpractice lawsuit because... A patient of his died. He, he works as a surgeon, by the way. Where I live is less than 100 miles from Philadelphia, so when it comes to the virus, my area is clumped into Philly. Even though I live in the country, I'm not sure where PA is... when PA is reopening. I know that New York got it hit hard, by the way. I mean, big city areas like Los Angeles, New York, maybe Houston, I'm not sure. I know that California handled the, uh, the pandemic better than other states, but still. Let's talk about the plan. I think I know why Grace asked you to do this. Oh yeah, what was I saying about this before? Uh, Grace is Kevin's husband. Got the money somehow to pay off that malpractice lawsuit, which I imagine was extremely expensive, even for a surgeon's salary, which is surprising. Um, but then they began to fight because she would never say where she got the money from. Something about an art gallery that she works in, perhaps, but... Art in this game connects to Niall, and Niall is like a crime syndicate, so... Bad news. And why she wanted the tape brought here? Billy is bad too. It's like... Bigger city areas seem to be struck hard by this. Grace is here? No, she's not here. That tape is insurance. She needs it to give someone the strong arm. I guessed right, huh? I don't know what the tape is for. When Grace sent me the tape, she gave me a message. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to come to this pathetic hotel. And I had to bring the tape with me. I am supposed to hand it over to a certain man. Kevin? Dunning? Maybe Dunning. Unless this doll caught your eye, huh? What's going on there? Why would you want to steal it? Come on. You've seen that doll before tonight, right? After all, Grace is the one who made it. I didn't... I didn't know she made it. That explains why it looks so much like our dolls. Is she friends with Grace? I figured it out. I think I know why you're looking for Grace. It's because she vanished. You're trying to track her down. Yes. I thought she was married and happy, you know? I refuse to believe that she just vanished for no reason. Her and Helen Parker, you know, that writer that M M Martin Summer stole his work from. I don't think this game does resolve where they end up going. I don't know. I, I, I have to see. I should just stream on, on my Twitter. Oh, nice, man. Thank you. Woodward got hit with a big lawsuit back in 77. He was about to lose everything. How big of a lawsuit? Grace raised a whole bunch of dough and pulled his ass out of the fire. But how? Good question. If you find out, tell Kevin, will ya? Apparently, Grace refused to tell him where she got the cash. I couldn't take it. They fought about the cash, and he stopped trusting her. Then she decides to skip town. Oh, Grace. This isn't some tape Grace picked up at a yard sale. What's the story? What does it mean? I don't know. Kevin got sued for a king's ransom. Where'd Grace get the money to pay that off? I don't know, okay? I don't have any idea. Probably should have saved in the middle of this. Who gets the tape? I don't know. Nice plan. I asked her. Grace, I mean. I asked her who she meant, but... She just told me to give it to the man who painted the angel. The man who painted the angel. I hoped that I'd understand when I got here. 
I don't. The angel, huh? In this game, they talked about that painting, Angel Opening a Door. It was painted by a guy named Osterstone who was talked about who, let me see, born in the late 1800s or something like that. I think he died like in his 30s or 40s or something. He wasn't renowned at the, t at the time, but after a while his paintings grew fame, he grew fame, posthumous fame, and that painting in particular sells for a premium. <laughs> Honestly, it's surprising how much um, some paintings will sell for in the uh, in auction. Like, I think I remember hearing about a painting that like, I think it was just like a blank white canvas or looked like one. And it sold for like a record breaking 170 million. Something like that. Jesus, man. So here I am. A girl with no plan. Trapped in the worst hotel in the world. I mean, it's better than paying, what, $100,000 for a stupid banana tape to a wall? Fucking hell. I'm lost, Mr. Hyde. I have no idea who this man is or how to find him. You had that doll? You have one of those dolls too? I've seen that doll before. Maybe not that exact one, but... It looks just like the dolls Grace and I used to have when we were kids. I think the questioning part is over. How did Grace pull together that much scratch? I have no idea. I guess we're past the point of finding secrets. A little, um, French term. Tete a tete? How do you, how do you pronounce that in French? Tete a tete? I, I, it's probably both wrong. I doubt you're the kind of man I could conceal much from anyway. Is this about the tape? No. It's about Grace. Well, about Grace and me, actually. It's a story. Oh, wow. I'm her little sister. No kidding. She's four years older than I am. I didn't see that coming. I forgot about that, actually. Our mother was a kind, beautiful woman, but she was weak. Terrified of being alone, easily manipulated, terribly sad. I'm sure you know the type. Elsa? Anna? Maybe more Anna than Elsa. <laughs> Frozen. She fell in love so easily, and always with the wrong kind of man. Maybe Anna, I don't know. They used her and hurt her and left her. Oh, that's not cool. And then she would just find another one. We lived on the run, running away from the last bad man and toward the next. God damn. And every time we moved, we got a new father. In truth, Grace and I are only half-sisters. I don't even remember her father. But it didn't matter. Growing up, we were inseparable. When you're always a new kid, you hang on to what you have. We were best friends. But then my mother died, and Grace and I were separated. I thought I would die as well. Your mom died young? Yes. Oh, in a plane crash. Do you remember that Las Vegas plane crash in 1960? She was on it. I was nine years old, and far too young to understand. She was just... gone. The man she was with at the time was a pathetic snake. The airline gave Grace and me a large sum of money, and he took it all. Once that was done, he stashed us in separate orphanages and vanished. Wow. Grace and I, we... we lost contact. I was eventually adopted, but I didn't care much for my new parents. At 15, I ran away and spent five years in a blur of hotels and highways. Jesus. When I was 20, I found work at some rundown diner in Santa Monica. And one day, Grace walked back into my life. It's funny, I knew her right away, but she... she didn't know me at first. I guess those five years changed me more than I thought. 
Anyway, after a few moments, she recognized me and we were reunited. She was so beautiful, Mr. Hyde. Just beautiful. She had gone to college and made something of herself. She was working as a curator at a place called Gallery May, and she was engaged to a doctor. We promised to meet up later, but instead I quit and fled Santa Monica. I heard Grace was looking for me, but never tried to contact her. Why is that? Because I was ashamed, Mr. Hyde. She was radiant, and I was... pathetic. I didn't want her to see me like that. And so I ran away. Again. I'm trying to picture this, I... The stress of the situation of this... Constantly being on the run... Not necessarily hunted, but just... Ashamed. Damn. I decided to follow my dream of becoming an actress I jumped from city to city, taking any role that was thrown my way. And in that fashion, time just... passed. But two years ago, Grace tracked me down. Uh... do I dare ask what kind of actress? I had just been featured in some small-time magazine photo shoot. Ah, oh, that is her on the cover! Grace saw it and tracked me down through the, um, through the agency. I was shocked by what she had become. The girl from Santa Monica was gone. Her eyes, Mr. Hyde, her eyes were so sad. She waited until we were alone, and then broke down. She told me she needed money. She begged me to help her. Did you? Mr. Hyde, I could have sold my entire life and not come close to what she needed. She wouldn't even tell me what it was for. I told her no. I had no choice. I... I couldn't dream of getting that kind of money. She was sobbing, Mr. Hyde. Sobbing and apologizing and... She told me she was sorry for asking the impossible. And that she didn't really care about the money. She just wanted to see me. She said it gave her the courage to do what must be done. For her family. It was like we were little girls all over again. Also, we were still so young. We moved from place to place, and I spent all my time in the car, sobbing. I was too caught up with her men to do more than scold me. But Grace was my savior. She used to put my favorite doll between her arms. Then she would hold me and talk to me until I calmed down. I thought back to that after she left the agency. After a few seconds, I decided to chase her down. But when I ran out the door, she... she was gone. The envelope arrived about a year and a half after that. It contained a letter and a cassette tape. I don't have the letter, but I read it again and again and I remember every word. Iris. My family desperately needed money, and I did a terrible thing. If you don't hear from me by Christmas, I need you to do something for me. Take this tape to Hotel Dusk. The letter went on to tell me the tape to the man who painted the angel. To give the tape to the man who painted the angel. So, here I am. What a fantastic Christmas this is turning out to be. So for all we know, her sister could be dead. The money most likely she acquired by Niall, because, you know, working in an art gallery. And... Niall's not afraid to kill people. We, we've already seen a few examples of that happening. Anyway, that's all I know, Mr. Hyde. The tape is a mystery. The letter is a mystery. I was scared when the tape went missing, but I guess it doesn't matter. None of it tells me how to find this man who paints angels. I hope that coming here would clear everything up, but it didn't. I'm clueless, Mr. Hyde. Clueless and frustrated and just plain tired of it all. 
Kevin's been looking for Grace for a long time. And Melissa's getting pretty desperate too. Guess we can add you to the mix. I just want to see her again. I want to know that she's alright. Don't worry. We still got hope. We know the guy who made the angel painting is here. And I'm going to look for him. If I find him, I bet I'll find Grace too. Mr. Hyde. Maybe that'll make your Christmas a little better. Be around. Grab me if you think of anything else. And here's your tape back. God. A lot of character development happened between these two, because before this, I mean... Let me see, I remember having to kind of rudely tell her to step off because she was right in front of the restaurant door. And... Honestly, you could, you could sense the friction between the two of us. I mean, we're not a couple, but still. Sir Hyde. Usually that's the sort of thing that's safe for the end of a chapter, not in the middle of one. So Iris is Grace's sister. Grace knew a man who paints angels. Hell till dusk, and the angel painting have to be connected. Maybe I can figure it out. And maybe that'll tell me why Bradley came here in the first place. Wow, only 20 minutes went by in game. I think bowling's next after this. So, let me see. There's an old lady who also stays in this uh, hotel called Helen Parker. She's looking for her son. And now Grace is looking for, um... No, I'm sorry. Iris is looking for Grace, her older sister. Oh, man. Yo, hide! Did you figure stuff out and bust heads and all that cop stuff? <laughs> Come on, man, hit me! What's the deal with the tape? The tape was sent to Iris by a woman named Grace. Grace? Yo, I should know this. Grace or what? Yo, I should know this. Grace or what? She's Iris' sister. Iris has a sister? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I I can't do that very well. You're a moron, Louis. There's more. Grace is Melissa's mother. Oh, huh? No joke? Ah, uh, wait, man. That means... Yeah, Grace is actually Kevin's missing wife. Well, I'll be damned. You're some kind of cop, Officer Hyde. Apparently, Kevin isn't much of a doctor because he lost a big malpractice suit. Grace got the money to pay the thing off, but Kevin doesn't know how. Ah, uh, trip, man. Sounds like dirty money to me. Yeah, exactly. You and me both, brother. About six months ago, Grace up and vanished. It was the same time she sent the tape to Iris. Then came with a letter that told her to sit tight until Christmas. If there was no word by then, Iris had to bring the thing here. Here, man? This hotel? She's supposed to give it to a man who paints angels. That don't make no sense, man. I know, but there it is. Yeah, there it is. Listen, I need you to take a buzz through the guest log from two years ago. Sure, man. I'll do my sneaking around things as soon as Dunning takes off. You wonder if I should check if Grace Woodward stayed here, right? Smart boy, Louie. If only my mom could see her Louie now. <laughs> but first, we gotta settle something like men. And roll. Run. I'm gonna kick his ass. My touchscreen is calibrated for bowling. If I recall, cor <clears throat> if I recall correctly, the sequel to this game has a similar minigame around this time. I think it was Pool, if I recall correctly. Give me a second, I'm gonna drink a little water.
Okay, there we go. Yo, over here, man. Long, narrow hallway. I guess this works. You want to do this here, Louis? Oh, man, it's way more fun this way. Come on. If you say so. Now let's get it on. To you, my man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Got her. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> man, that's the best you can do. Now it's my turn. Watch this action. Shit. Ah, fuck. This ain't good. Guess that's the way the ball rolls, huh? The first game's all mine. What is this, best tower out of three or three out of five? Eh, much better. I did it a little slower this time. Hey, not bad, Hyde. Now it's my turn. Watch this section. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Butterfingers. Ah, crap, that stunk. You win the second game. I guess it is two out of three. Eh. Eh. Oop. No! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no. No. I'm not going to restart, by the way. All right. We'll call it a draw. <laughs> oh, man. Total bummer, man. Oh, no. No, man. <coughs> oh, God. Oh god. What the hell? Did I almost choke my own spit or something? Deep breaths. Water. Like I said, <clears throat> Like I said, I'm too funny for my own damn good, I swear. Oh god, that brought a tear to my eye. Oh no! No, man! No, 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 no. And that's Stunning's plant! I love that stupid plant. Oh man, he's gonna have my head for that. What have we here? Hmm? Huh? This is... Wow. Happy little accident. I got an old key. Is that a key? What's a key to an old man Dunning's plant? Ah, shit. It's like she has a sixth sense for this. What is going on out here? What are you up to now? Huh? Answer me! Easy, Mama Sass. We're just having a nice little chat. Don't Mama Sass me, Louis, the no-no. You were playing that ridiculous bowling game again, weren't you? Was it just recently invented or something? Aw, oh, man. What? You thought it was a secret? You talk about it to everyone you meet. I'm sure even Mr. Smith knows by now. You should pray that he never catches you, or it'll be your job. Oh, come on, Rosa. Why you gotta be Captain Hardass all the time? Your fun is no concern of mine, Louis the No-No. That's cold, Mama. Real cold. I don't have time for this. Mila is missing. Where is she? Have you seen her? Mila? You lost Mila? 
I did not lose her, Mr. Hyde. She left my room and hasn't come back. I checked the lobby and the restaurant already. Oh, this is terrible. Did you check the roof? I actually haven't been there in, um, since, like, what, chapter 4? You seem pretty worried. There's something I should know? Huh? What? No! Nothing, just... just trying to find her. Sure you are. I'm busy. I have to go. If you see Mila, tell her to go back to my room and wait. Alright? Good. Rosa scuttles off down the hall. Hoo-wee! Sounds like they had themselves a fight or something, yeah? Something like that. Hey man, we should help look for Mila. You know, just to be nice at all. I know why you're looking, uh, Louis, and it's fine. You take the first floor. I'll take the second. Gotcha. And Louis? Yeah? Keep this safe. What? The old key? See if you can find out what it goes to. Yes, sir, officer. Hmm. That key is um, obviously important if it was hidden away in a little potted plant like that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I have a strong suspicion where she's at. Where did Mila go? See? Hmm? Someone's there. She had a fever earlier. She's gonna catch a cold out here now. It's... Mila. wrong just stargazing it's cold and that's not much of a coat Rose is looking for you something happened between you two did Rosa say something to you I hand my notebook to Mila I'll write something in my notebook. Hmm? Oh, come on. My touch screen's on the fritz again. It's like to the right now. What are you looking for? What were you looking for? That's what Rosa said to you? So she knows you're looking for your father, huh? Guess you told her about that. Wait, you didn't? I don't get it. Here, write down what she told you. And my notebook to Mila. Mila, write something in my notebook. Yeah, my touch screen's off again. God damn it. She said, I know your father. Rosa knew your father? She said that? How the hell does Rosa know Mila's old man? Wind's getting chilly, and Rosa will murder me if you catch cold. Let's go get you back to her room, okay? If I recall correctly, I don't really need the touchscreen for the rest of this. I think that bowling game was the most that um, I needed it for. <laughs> we'll call it a draw. 
It's not being a game when that pot plant broke. Yeah, I mean, I'm touching this and... Hey, look. Touching the little red circle? It's just a little to the right. Of course, I'm holding my Nintendo DS sideways, so... Technically a little bit down, but again, I don't... I don't think I need the touchscreen for anything else. Anything else major. I've been to Dunning's room. I haven't been to Rose's room yet. It's hide. I found Mila. Mila. Come in quickly, dear. Come on, come on. Where was she? On the roof. What? Land six. No wonder she's cold. Poor thing will catch her death. Mila, you just sit and I'll make you some tea. And don't mind what I said earlier. You don't have a thing to worry about, dear. You got a second? What is it? I'm very busy. It won't take long. Oh, now I'm gonna interrogate her now, huh? It's about Mila. Yes? Actually, I need to talk to both of you. Oh, all right. Go in the back room, okay? Good. I need to give Mila her tea first. Should I look around? Nah, probably not. Oh, here we go. No, wait, that's a calendar. What the hell's a colander? There's a picture of a couple in the frame. Huh. There's a picture of a family in the frame. Why does this guy make me think of... <laughs> Boomstick from Death Battle. Oh my god, that actually looks a lot like him. <laughs> Just with a little more facial hair. Interesting. There's an old worn brochure on the desk. I'm getting tired of seeing these things. Small desk in the corner of the room. I think I saw another picture around here too. Is that her son? There's a picture of Rosa with a man. It looks familiar. I think I wore one like it as a hat once. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Hyde. Sorry for making you wait. How's Mila? Oh, she drinks some of my special honey tea and is feeling much better. Good. So what did you want to talk to me about? Hmm? Out with it. Hold on. I got a question about these pictures first. Oh, Mr. Hyde, why were you looking at my pictures? <laughs> uh, don't go there. I got a short attention span. So who are these folks? Those are pictures of me, Mr. Hyde. Pictures of... The bride, too? Of course. 
Oh. <laughs> now what's that face for? You look so surprised, Mr. Hyde. I was young once, you know. Oh, I know, it's just... Just what? This is a bit awkward. How awkward you, Mr. Hyde. Out with it. I just thought she was a real good-looking dame. Oh, my. So you marrying your... Um, so you marrying your one true love there, or what? Yes, I was. I thought I was the happiest girl in the world. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I bet. Of course, everybody says that. Yes, but I was serious. I couldn't have been any happier to marry that man. Rosa, you never cease to amaze me. Your husband really that great? To me, he was. He was the best man I'd ever met. So what happened? I think he's on a boat somewhere. No kidding? Married a sailor, huh? I assume he's still a sailor. You assume? It's been quite some time since I've seen him, is all. Oh. Did they divorce? <sighs> oh. I think the last time we saw each other was... Oh, at least five years ago. That's a long time. No. Now I'm sure that was it. I remember now. Because it's when I started to work here. Because it takes all kinds. I doubt, you, <clears throat> I doubt you really care about my husband, Mr. Hyde. I thought you had to ask me about Mila. Yeah, I do. Let me get on that. Well, out with it. How do you know about Mila? What? I don't understand the question, Mr. Hyde. Ah, here we go. When I ran into Mila, her wheels weren't, um, were really turning. She was thinking about something you said. So what did you say to her? I'm sure I don't know. I haven't said anything to that girl. Lie. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, don't lie. Rosa, come on, don't start lying to me now. I know you talked to her. And I know you asked who she's looking for. B what? And just how would you presume to know about that, hmm? Mila told me. Oh, she told you. She told you. Miss Talkie just up and told you, is that it? She wrote it down in my notebook. Oh. Oh. Really, am I the only one who thought about that? Guess it's silly for me to try and hide it, then. How did you know she was looking for someone? It's because of that old brochure. You know something about her that the rest of us don't? Or you know something about her that the rest of us don't? That wasn't a question. I need you to tell me. I don't know anything. It's not like I'm hiding something from you. Oh, come on. Come on, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, we've been through a lot tonight, right? Helped each other? Had a few laughs? I'm not... I'm not hiding anything, Mr. Hyde. And I swear I don't know boo about that poor girl's father. Hmm... Her father? Oh, darn my full mouth! Slip of the tongue. What are you hiding? Please, Mr. Hyde. I promise not to tell. Ah, here we go. I imagine this is critical. I think I know what's going on with the brochure. We're talking about... Mila's brochure? You mean the brochure Mila was carrying? Yes, that's right. 
She got a ride from that terrible angel boy in 213, remember? Yeah, that's already been resolved, though. I think she showed it to him, and that's why he came here. And as soon as I saw that... As soon as I saw that brochure, I knew. Robert Evans, right? That's her father? What about her father? You said you didn't know anything about him, right? You do know something. So you do know something? Probably. Probably? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that if that girl is looking for her father, then... Yes. <clears throat> Maybe I do remember something. Oh god, I'm s I still feel like I... I'm about to choke because of... <laughs> back of that bowling scene. What the hell happened to me there? Talk about the promise. Better not have been a pinky promise, you don't break those. You mean a promise, huh? I think I know who you made this promise to. It's someone I know, isn't it? Yes, as a matter of fact. The person trusted me. Trusted me with a secret. What did that brochure tell you? Well, see, I just figured that if she had that brochure with her, then she must be looking for someone who stayed here a long time ago. Makes sense, right? Sure it does. Anyway, that's what I thought when I saw it. What did you remember? I can't tell you that. Come on, Rosa. I got you an autograph. I fetched wine labels. Trust me for once. I don't know. I don't have a secret agenda, Rosa. I just want to know what Mila was doing here by herself. And what her father was up to. That's all. And why, huh? I want to set her free. And what does that mean? I know a little something about searching for people. I know it's hard. Not something a girl like her should have to face. When you find people that don't want to be found, you learn some hard truths. Mila knows that those truths are coming, but she can't stop looking. It'll hurt when she's done, but only for a bit. Then it's over and done with. But until she finds her old man, she's just going to go on hurting. So what's your big secret? What's the secret, Rosa? What are you hiding that can help um that can help this girl? I can't tell you. I promised. Yeah, you said that, and I know you mean well. But the person who told you the secret? They told you because they trusted you. I suppose. And maybe you can trust me in the same way. If it's something to do with Mila, I can help her. And I need you to trust me with it. I'll keep your name out of it. Oh, Mr. Hyde. I don't know what to do. Tell me what you know. I'll make sure it doesn't come back to you. Mm. Yes, I heard you before. Well, if it's really just so you can help Mila, I guess I can tell you. I like you, Mr. Hyde. And I do trust you, I guess. I like you too, Rosa. And me personally, too. I'm not gonna lie, she's a... She's a complicated character, a little. But you have to swear that you'll look for her father. You told her you would, so you have to promise. I will. Well, you see, it's about the old brochure that Mila was carrying. I knew as soon as I saw it, I knew. I had seen it before. Where? In Mr. Smith's room. His office? Oh god, hang on a sec. Ugh, I, I coughed again. No, 
his personal quarters. He normally won't let anyone go in there. But he's such a lazy man, and he asked me to clean it once or twice. And anyway, that's how I saw the brochure. And once I saw that Mila had the same one, it all became clear as, um, as clear as day. You want to fill me in? The poor girl must have been here a long time ago. Why do you think that? Because Dunning told me so, that's why. See, he only became the owner of this place some five years ago. And that brochure is much older than that, which made me curious. So I asked him about it a little while back, about where he got it. And he told me. He said he had stayed once with his family a long time ago. And that's how we got the brochure. Wait, Dunning has a family? Well, I can't be sure about the details. He won't talk much about himself. Ah, the people who don't talk much about themselves are usually the ones with the biggest secrets, aren't they? Hmm. But last year, I told him I told him a bit about my husband. And then he talked about his family. What did he tell you? He has a daughter. Wait, the picture that I looked at before Dunning kicked me out of his room. That was his daughter? Oh boy. But I think she lives pretty far away. Daughter. So that picture... That's right. <clears throat> oh god. That's right. I pretended not to know anything when you brought it up. But I think the girl in that picture is his daughter. But something happened that has kept them apart for quite some time. So when I figured out that Mila was looking for someone... I instantly thought about Mr. Smith. That's why you told me that you knew her father? That's right. Oh, it just felt so perfect. But Mila just looked so sad. And then she left. Let's see. Mr. Hyde, you don't suppose that Dunning really is... No, he's not. Oh dear. Mila's father is a gallery owner named Robert Evans. Oh, but I... I was so sure. Oh, heavens. I opened my big mouth and spoke without knowing. That poor girl. Don't beat yourself up about it. How can I not? I mean, I... She... Well, I'm just all kinds of confused. Why? About Dunning. I thought that was why he was upset when I took Mila in. And why he wouldn't get anywhere near her. So I guess... There must be something between them. It's not what I thought. Maybe so. You know what Mr. Smith said to me? He said, You take her to the police first thing in the morning. And when I asked him if that was really the best thing to do... He couldn't even look me in the eye. Mr. Hyde... I'm just like you. I just want to help this poor girl. I'll do whatever I can. But you have to help her. I will. But I need to know one more thing. Is there a painting of an angel in this hotel? An angel? Yeah. Wings, halo, little clouds, angel. No, not that I know of. But we do have lots of apple paintings. Yeah, I noticed that. Land sakes, those things are everywhere. Pictures of apples all over the hotel. Now, why would any um why anyone would need that many apple paintings is beyond me. Rosa, I don't care about apples. I care about the angel. Well, we don't have one. At least I've never seen it. Just apples. Again with the stupid apples. Can't sneeze without hitting one of those. There's even one in my room. Yeah, those are important, actually.
Don't worry. I'll find your father. It's my pager. I've got to call Ed. Hmm. Guess I should give out a call. Red Crown, Rachel speaking. Rachel, go home. Seriously. I was going to, sweetie, but I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one who has to go home at midnight. It's my too sweet. But I'll just make Ed give me a ride. Anyway, he's right here. Hide. What's the good word? Tell me you got good news, Ed. Tell me about Gallery May and Robert Evans. I shook something loose. Looks like this gallery of yours closed down seven years ago. No kidding? Yeah, it was one of the older galleries in Santa Monica. Seems this Evans fellow inherited it from his, uh, <clears throat> inherited it from his grandfather. He was 23 when he got it, and that was back in 1933. Sounds like he had some success. That's what I hear. Our types say Evan had a good eye for rare stuff. He was real good at finding undiscovered works by famous painters. Did he make any money? Plenty. When new art shows up from famous painters, folks pay attention. And then all of a sudden... Nothing. Gallery shuts down seven years ago. Why? Got no clue. When it closes, Evans does a runner and disappears. He's been gone ever since? Yeah. Real missing persons type stuff. Hide. You said his daughter was in that hotel? Think she's been looking for him this whole time? I don't know. I don't think so. I ring up some old friends in LAPD and ask about your case. They say no one in the family ever pressed for a full search. That's interesting. I looked into the Evans family, by the way. Wife Mary died in a plane crash in 1960. Crap. They had one daughter. Name of Mila. I've got a couple calls into some other folks. I'll ring you if it pans out. Appreciate it. Don't worry. If something pops up, I'll get you on the horn pronto. So Robert Evans went missing seven years ago. What the hell happened to him? And I want to know more about Dunning's daughter. Alright. I mean, close. Let me think about this for a bit. Whew! It called a little after 11. I asked him to check two things for me. One was Gallery May, and the other was... Robert Evans. That's it. I asked that to collect info on Robert Evans and Gallery May. I borrowed an old cassette deck from Louis's room. And I used it to listen to Iris's tape. It seemed to be a recording of some shady transaction. The person who sent the tape to Iris was... Grace. That's right, Grace sent Iris the tape. 
Seems that Iris is actually Grace's little sister. Oh god. Iris is actually Grace's little sister. And she's come here to try and find her. From what Iris said, it sounds like Grace is connected to the angel painting. I asked Louis to check the guest log from two years back, see what was there. And then we went bowling. Oh, figure. While we were knocking pins, we found something odd in the hallway planner. The thing we found was... an old key. That's it. When the bowling ball broke the planter, we found an old key. The key's got no markings or anything on it. I got no idea what it's used for. I also stumbled across me in Louis' little game and was less than thrilled. But she stopped yelling long enough to tell us that Mila had vanished. Ever the heroes, Louis and I went to search for her. When I found Mila, she was... on the roof. That's right. Kid was on the damn roof. Reza said something about her father that upset her. I took Mila back to Rosa's room, and their wonder maiden and I had a chat. Rosa told me that Dunning had a daughter. She thinks there's a connection between Mila and Dunning, but she doesn't have any real proof. When we were done, my pager went off and I called Ed. Yet some in- <clears throat> He had some info on Mila's old man, Robert Evans. Seems Evans took a powder after he closed down his art gallery. He went missing about... seven years ago. That's right. Evans went missing seven years ago. Even made the LAPD missing persons list. Has Mila really been looking for him this whole time? Iris's tale, Rose's confession, Ed's new info. Things are starting to come together, but I still got questions. Questions about Mila's father, Dunning's daughter, and some picture of an angel. The strands of this mystery are starting to fray. I can see them getting rough around the edges. And Bradley, I think your story is the one thread I need to pull. The one that'll make this whole damn thing unravel. Hmm. Oh, this one takes two hours, huh? Up to 2 a.m. I'm gonna see if I can try to beat this whole game tomorrow. I wanna tackle the last two chapters tomorrow. We'll see how well that works out for me. If not tomorrow, well, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Sunday, but I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for tomorrow. So with that being said. This is the Video Game Maniac signing off. Thank you so much, KimGamer9377 and AJC for stopping by. Hope your shoulder feels better, KimGamer9377. Take it easy, man. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.